force to do work. A simple machine allows the user to apply a smaller force over a greater distance. Work is done when a force is applied over a distance. A simple machine can change the direction of the force applied. If the distance increases, the work can be done with a smaller amount of force. A lever is a rigid bar or board that is free to move around a fixed point, also known as a fulcrum. A lever can reduce the amount of force into it. The moving the fulcrum away from the force or closer to the load. A fulcrum can be placed at a different location on the bar. For example, scissors, um, the fulcrum is in the middle, the force is on one end, and the weight is on the other end. In other types of levers, you have the fulcrum at the top, your weight at the bottom, and your force applied in the middle. For example, for example of a lever is a bottle bottle opener. One side it has the force and on the other side it has the weight in the bulk A pulley has a groove wheel with a rope running along the groove. A pulley can change the amount or the direction of the force applied. A pulley can reduce the effort force to get to different object. A fixed pulley only changes the direction of the force. Pulleys that are fixed, meaning they're attached to something, can be found on top of a flagpole or a window blind. Movable pulleys are used to reduce the force. Pulleys that are movable, which means they are not attached to a structure, can be found on construction cranes. Movable pulleys can also be found as a part of a block and tackle system. Incline plane is a slope that reduces the amount of force to the object. It is designed to reduce the force needed to lift a weight into place. You can either increase the width or decrease the height of the weight. Incline planes with a sloping surface can be found on ramps on a truck, wheelchair ramps, and stairs. Incline planes that are wedges are knife blades and nails. Incline planes wound around a cylinder or post are called Screws. Screws can be found in bolts and or jarlets. Wheels and axle consist of two circular objects. A central shaft, which is called an axle, is inserted through the middle of the wheel. Wheels and axles can be found as doorknobs, stern wheels, and gears. Complex machines, also known as compound machines, are two or more simple machines put together. Scissors consist of two incline planes and two levers. Wedges! Okay, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Fishing poles consist wheels, axles, pulleys, and levers. A bicycle consists of levers, wheels, axles, and a number of screws.